Okay, good morning. I am just going to show you how to narrate your web searches uh, and demonstrate your critical thinking and lateral searching. So I'm looking for an article on basically what happened on the day of the Capitol attack. What, what events transpired, an overview. And so I'm just Googling what happened during the Capitol attack. And like most of you, I skim and scan the results looking for something familiar or that matches my search. Um, I think for today, I'm going to start with Wikipedia because there's a lot of information I don't know about. Um, and take a, again, skim and scan, maybe check one of their sources. The first one I'll check is The Guardian. Okay, I know that's a British paper. I think it's trustworthy. I would probably have to double check it, but the first article I check is not related really to what I am trying to find out. It's not an overview of, of what happened, but rather um, discussing the unfortunate deaths. So I go back and I'll check this one out, The Conversation. I don't know this publication. They say it's academic rigor with journalistic flair. That sounds good, but I would have to check it out. Um, again, this one is talking about the size of the crowd, not what I'm looking for. Hmm, let's see. As I read through this one from the Washington Post, a video timeline from inside the Capitol. Okay, that is what I'm looking for. That's going to give me an overview of what transpired. But I've heard of Washington Post. I think it's trustworthy, but I want to do some lateral searching to find out, you know, who who's behind the Washington Post. What do other people say about the Washington Post? So let me open up another tab quickly and do some lateral searching. Type in is Washington Post trustworthy? You could look at Media Bias Fact Check, but they've got their own biases. I'm going to go back to Wikipedia. I think it really houses a lot of useful information in one place. So let's see, I'll skim and scan. Oh, this is the Washington Post talking about the Washington Post. That's not going to help me for lateral searching. I want to find out what others are saying about it. Avalon Publishing. This looks like a, a travel guide. Is a travel guide going to be a good source of information on whether a publication is trustworthy? I don't think so. I think there's better places to look. Agility PR solutions, public relations. Hmm. I don't know. That, that seems like they may have a monetary uh, interest. Statista. I don't know about Statista. I've never heard of it, but I'm going to take a look. Um, they say that Washington Post is second in terms of Pulitzer Prizes. To me, that uh, speaks to the credibility of the organization, but I don't know about Statista. So let me check out their About page. Hmm. Ooh, they charge. They're a, definitely a business that says they have trusted content. Being a business doesn't necessarily rule out your credibility, but it's something to keep in mind. And they claim to be very reliable, but I'm going to double check Statista. Hmm. 
to a review of Statista from a university library. And in the abstract, they say some pretty nice things about it. And I feel like a, a university library would have less monetary interests in saying positive things about Statista. So that might help us um, have a little more faith in the information they're providing about the Washington Post. I also want to think about those pointer questions and talk, think about who owns the Washington Post. Just to have a fuller picture of the information that I'm taking in. So it's owned by Jeff Bezos. That doesn't necessarily mean that we can't trust it, but I think it's good information to have in our arsenal. So when we seek out other sources of information, um, maybe we want to reach out to sources that aren't related to Jeff Bezos. So if you have questions, um, feel free to let me know, Ms. Brancoli. Otherwise, um, you can see this is fairly straightforward. I was just thinking out loud and narrating my searches. Thank you.